Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. Commercial Love Day is almost upon us. So for this video, I thought I would play with some resin and use some heart molds and some heart embellishments in topographic molds. I'm using Sophie and Toffee's long setting resin in this one. Um, I've never used their uh, hard or long setting resin before so we'll see how that goes. Um, so in the meantime please sit back and enjoy the video and I'll catch you in the outro.
welcome back it's been 12 hours since I did the backs and also moved the topography into the blank cell so let's have a look we'll start with the hearts only because it is commercial love day month so we should start with the hearts these two I did take out of the molds uh, last night just um, because I had a lot of spare <laughs> resin left over. That came out quite pretty. I didn't put a back colour on this one. I just wanted to leave one and see what it looks like. And this one I, I thought looked a bit like a popped pimple. Because <laughs> with the way the colours sort of mixed in it looked a bit pussy. I know that's gross. Especially when I'm talking about a love heart. But... That's what the front looks like. So the pink didn't really come through, even though I tried to swirl it through. It's very red still. It's still a nice colour. In this tray, we've got this one, this one, and this one was we were all created with all of the leftover resin I had from making these yesterday. We'll just take out the plain white ones first. I do love the effect of the mica in them. They all look nice and pure and very uh, glittery the hearts so they would be all right just on their own for anyone who wants a white a pure white heart so let's do the red the so it was a clear pour then the red glitter swirled through and then the white mica put on the background so there's obviously some dags there but that's that one got that one And that one. And let's have a look at, so this was the pink swirly. So the clear with the pink swirly and then the white put on the background. And they, um, you can just, I'm not sure if that comes out the camera very well, but from where, how I'm looking at it, you can sort of see the layer of the pink swirl, then the white mica background. I think they um, all of these would have benefited more from a darker background but I was trying not to go dark I was trying to keep it lovely and sweet for commercial love day <laughs> and it was just me playing around because I, I haven't actually played with resin in about a year because I didn't really do anything with the pandemic in the sense of making resin yeah I'm not I'm Look, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% thrilled with these, but as I say, I wasn't making them for anything. So yeah, there were the hearts that were made. Definitely think these ones should have had a darker background. I don't mind the white ones, and look, they're okay from... Depends what angle you look at them, so whether I do anything else with them, I don't know. They might just go in my pile of bits I make to experiment with and keep notes on. So they are the hearts but let's look at the main thing I was attempting in this video and that was playing with these topographic mold sets so of course we've got the two oval the two rectangular and the two circles so let's start with, we'll go with the oval. So it's the first time I've used these type of molds as well. Um, that popped out easy. Now these, I uh, put the second layer on t well, about 12, 13 hours ago. So they, they've still got some setting time left in them, but they're not feeling, they're actually feeling quite solid now but I would definitely leave them a bit longer just to make sure so let's have a look at the back first so yeah pretty standard back nice and smooth and there's the front so I added uh, some gold flakes onto this one and yeah no that one just has the gold 
flakes in it to give it a bit more of an elegant look. So these are the rectangles. So again, oh, there is a bit. Okay, so the rectangle here didn't sit flat against the bottom of the mold. They're all there, so you can actually see there's gaps. Again, easily fixable. You just redome that, no, no drama there. But they obviously didn't. I hadn't pressed it down to sit flat enough that there was. Uh, bubbles. Oh, the same happened on this one too. So something to keep an eye on with the rectangle one, obviously, that it um, wasn't sitting flat to the bottom of the mould. I put the hearts and the gold flakes in these. So they are quite cute. And the lucky last are the circles. So there are the back of the circles and they, oh, that's not a back, that's the back. <laughs> they came out fine, like the ovals. Oh no, there's a tiny bubble missing there. You just do a bit of a, oh no, if I look. <laughs> Swear to God, I've got to look in the camera more than my hand. That's not a tiny bubble, that's the hole for the jump ring. <laughs> so ignoring what I just said, they are smooth and perfect, like the ovals. Um, so it just seems to be the rectangle ones bubbled underneath now looking at the top but again they had the heart decals nail decals and the gold flakes so in the end the, these are quite good molds i like these a few more tries on them and i'll get you get it right uh, the first time hopefully uh, but the color combinations you can make are endless but um I do like them. So here is everything I made in this Watch Me Resin video. I will be doing more resin videos uh, this year. As I said, as I wasn't doing markets last year, I just didn't see the need to play with resin. So I haven't played with it for a whole year and I missed it and I want to get back into it. I love using resin and I want to try and perfect weird effects in layering and things like that so there will be more resin videos on my channel this year well that's it for this video thank you all for watching it is truly appreciated please remember to like the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel Please also leave a comment on what you thought of this video, of the experiments. Have you used any of these type of molds before, especially these topographic ones? And what color schemes do you like for them? Do you like this elegant sort of approach or do you like the standard blues and greens? If you want to say something nice about my failures, please do. <laughs> but no, that's okay because we all have non-successes what do they call it success training <laughs> so that was my success training and not to leave the resin so long before you try and mix things in the meantime please stay safe wherever you are and if you're in a COVID hot spot please stay extra safe follow the science and wear your mask appropriately which is over your nose and mouth until next time bye